Assalamu alaikum. What's up, buddies? I am Srimati, and in this tutorial, I will share with you users' authentications, rest of the part, login, and registration block. So, let's drive into it. In the lib directory, first, I am creating a directory called register and select the directory and click on right button of mouse we can see an option new block let's click on that it record for name i am giving its name register if i press enter we can see successfully generated block if i open the directory we can see three files block event and state first let's define event we need single event whenever user click on sign up button user will be registered with firebase so i'm creating a class called sign up button pressed and extends the base class register event in that event we have to define email and password so that user can sign up with email and password so far i am taking a string for define email and password let's construct these variables with named parameter We got event. Now let's define state. In that state, we already have initial state. We need more three states for loading, succeed, and failed. So I'm copy this line for three times. Now changing it to loading succeed and failed. In initial state and loading state, we nothing have to do. In succeed state, we have to define user. That user will be registered with email and password. So, I am taking a user. That is Firebase user. And I am taking a user variable. Let's construct this variable in failed state if occur any error then we will show error message so for that i am taking a string for message variable and now let's construct this variable Now we are done with event and state. Now let's move on register block. In that file, first I will add 
user repository so that we can take any method from here that I created in first episode. If you didn't watch the episode, I will recommend you to watch the first episode. So I am adding user repository class with user repository variable and I am constructor this variable with named parameter in map event to state method I will define event and all states if we notice event we have only single event that is sign up button pressed here first i am adding if condition if event is sign up button pressed then first it will be take loading state now i will take try catch block for catching error and getting specific method first let's check user repository class Here I created sign up method. In try block, first I am adding user repository. Now we can see all methods. Let's click on sign up. Here would be event dot email and event dot password now let's put into user variable as it's a stream method we have to add await keyword so I'm adding await keyword it will be yield register succeed state with user and in catch block it will be yield register failed state with error message in sign up button pressed event first it will be yield loading state and after that it will be take sign up method for create user with email and password and it will be yield register succeed state with user And in catch block, it will be yield failed state with error message. That's all about register block. Now let's move into login block. first in the leave directory i am creating a new directory called login
first i will define login event here also we need single event as well register event So I'm creating a class called sign in button pressed and extends the base class login event. In that event we need email and password. So for that I am simply copy from register event and paste it here now constructor these variables now let's define state in login state we also need more three states for loading succeed and failed so let's define in login succeed state and login failed state same will be register succeed state and register failed state Now I will define login block. In that file first I will add user repository with user repository variable. Now constructor this variable. in map event to state method first i will add if condition if event is if we check login event we have single event that is sign in button pressed so here would be sign in button pressed if event is sign in button pressed then it will be yield login loading state from register block i will copy try catch block and paste it in login block as it's a login block we have to change its method if we check user repository class here i created a method for sign in with email and password 
so here i will changing it to sign in method now i am changing its state login succeed and login failed state so let's understand whole things if event is sign in button pressed event then first it will be take loading state and then it will be take sign in method for sign in user with email and password and it will be yield login succeed state with user and if occur any error then it will be yield login failed state with error message thanks for watching my tutorial and in next episode i will share it to you ui part Make sure to subscribe my channel to get more 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 amazing and advanced tutorials so stay tuned